Welcome to Booked, Simon. You join us on this filmed podcast. I know. Which is I pretty feel, exciting. I feel quite honoured. I like, find a lot of people asking <coughs> you about the new stuff already, like the people who finished the trilogy. Well, yeah, well, this is the thing. It's because, because the trilogy built up ahead of steam, um, uh, loads of people, like the moment the hardback came out, either bought it in hardback or downloaded it as an ebook and read it like in a day. Mm. And so they were like, oh, great, finished. What? Where? And immediately it's like, you know, forgetting that they've waited a year for that one. Yeah, where's, where's the, next the next one? one? Yeah. Is there going to be a fourth book in the trilogy? Mm. And what are you working Please on now? Please tell me you get that question. I get that question a lot. Wow. Um, and, um, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Well, you know, never say never. Yeah, look, at die, look at the Die Hard trilogy Star and yeah, all the Star Wars ever. Star Wars, yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. Let's see, I mean, that's yeah. a dangerous path. We don't <laughs> want to go down there. Slow, isn't it? Although, you know, never say never. <laughs> um, but uh, no. Um, Is that an exclusive? <laughs> well, never say never. <laughs> I might go back into that world. Okay. Well, no, I'd, I'd like it's, this talk. I'd quite like to write some short stories in the, uh, about it. You know, about some of the characters and use that world because I do kind of miss it. And it's a built thing. It's sort mm. of like a playground, you know, and it just feels a bit weird to abandon it yeah, and never exactly. go back. So stopping and moving on to the next thing, does that really feel like you're leaving a world behind? Does it actually feel like that in your head, you're leaving all this stuff? Yeah, because the thing is, when, when I was writing the trilogy, um, when I started writing The Key, mm -hmm. I, was, I was going back to Ruin, and mm -hmm. I was going back to the characters who were still alive, mm -hmm. and, and continuing the overarching story of mm -hmm. the trilogy, which I sort of had in my head, and at the same time working out the specifics of that middle story and then again when I went back with the tower you're going back again mm -hmm. and so it, it so and because they were the first three books I'd written and so that was my experience of writing mm -hmm. it was like oh this is what, how it works mm -hmm. the first one you're just working it all out but then from the last two books it mm -hmm. was oh that you go back and you pick it up and you and it's like sort of getting familiar mm -hmm. with people who you haven't seen for a bit yeah. um, and um, and decided, you know, go, and going on a new adventure with them. So it was, it's an entirely different creative um, undertaking mm -hmm. than going, right, I've got this idea for a story mm -hmm. and I've got sort of vague ideas of characters, um, but I need to kind of write those characters, build those characters, it's a whole new world, it's a whole new, everyone's new. So I'm introducing it all, everything is being introduced for the first time. Thank you so much. <laughs>